Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for another episode. As you can see, still hanging out in the dump truck, the red auto car specifically. Uh, today, we're chopping out back of the farm here. We got our neighbor in the purple peat. He's a professional truck driver for a living. We're just a bunch of amateurs. He, uh, he comes up after he gets done driving truck all day for work. He's nice enough to come and drive some truck for us. So we thank him for that. I'm not gonna mention him by name or anything. I don't know if he'd be, I don't know what, if he'd be comfortable with that or not. So anyhow, it's just me and him today trucking and dad's in the chopper and then we got grandpa in the packing track. So we're just kind of getting after it. We started chopping today at like 4.30 in the afternoon because it rained all morning this morning. I know there was some people around that were chopping in the rain, heard through the grapevine. Uh, my buddy Jake stopped up, said that there were some people down in Easton that were chopping. Uh, we had enough other stuff to do that we didn't have to go mess around in the rain. So We're messing around in the mud now after the rain. But. This corn we were chopping here in this field wasn't really all that tall, but had some really good ears on it. Uh, so I'll grab a couple off the ground here. We'll take a look at them next time we get a free minute. See what they're looking like. I got three years of corn out of this field that we're chopping. I'm betting you right now that these two are going to be 18 or 20 around, and this one is going to be 16 or 18. That's my guess. Let's see. We'll start with the little one. We got two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's 18, so then these other two are definitely gonna be 20s. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yep, so there's a little difference for you. You can barely notice it, but there's one that's 18 around, one that's 20, so that means on every plant, that had an ear like this one, we're getting two more whole rows of corn per ear. This is the part of the plant that really makes the milk for the cows. So these kernels are really, they don't have much moisture left in them. Uh, the dry part is where all the starch is and the starch is what drives milk production. So that's what we like to see. We don't like them completely dried out, but we like them to be three quarters away dried out, at least over half. And then we should count how many rows of rows of kernels work we have on this plant. All right, I'll speed through this for you guys so that you don't get bored. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. We'll stop there. 32 rows of corn on this plant. These are still darn good ears of corn. Up your seat, baby.
you guys at? Trucks. We'll probably get stuck again, but you can see we're right out behind the farm here. Maybe you can see that. I don't know, over there. Uh, but anyway, I got stuck and then he didn't realize it. And I couldn't grab my radio or pull the horn quick enough and boom, right in the windshield. Got that one little piece of corn that doesn't want to get in there because it's all moist. And I just saying about getting stuck. Friggin' truck slid right over into the corn there, so we're gonna get the chain hooked up.
got Mr. A on the pile here. Pile's getting a lot bigger in the bunk, so we're still feeding out of that, like I told you guys before. And this year we're doing some sidewall plastic. Got the bunks looking pretty good. Get this auto car dumped off here, and then we'll be heading back out to the field. The goal is we're gonna cover this back part once it reaches the front of this, uh, where we're feeding off of. We're gonna cover that back part, and these, will, these sidewall plastics will pull up and over, and then we'll be able to encapsulate this well, and then build a bunk out here. But we are getting right after here today. See the chopper coming up the field. When I said she smokes a little, I, I meant it. She does smoke a little, but that's okay. Still a good truck. Well, we just broke one little piece on the head. It's just a little guard. That clicking is the clutch not letting that one piece on the head move. There was a big lot of corn silage stuck down in there. Well, corn, it's not silage yet. We might have to go see if we can dig some of that out. Well, it almost went. If she backs it out one more time and then starts again. She said we're not going to chop anymore tonight. Until he gets a, a new bolt in that little guard. turned his lights on so I figured I better turn mine on too. Just doesn't want to quite back out of there. But, so we're not chopping anymore tonight anyway so I guess uh, with that we'll be seeing you guys next time we're getting after it. Alright, alright, alright party people we are and we're out to the field. Got the purple beat in front of us, got the chopper in front of him, and we have the international behind us. I think Charlie's coming today to haul in the little beat after they get done cleaning some packed barns, and then we'll be four trucks on the road. So we're getting right after it down here today. Well, it's always a good day when you have a piece of the chopper head in your dump truck. We, me and Brooklyn, just pulled in here. This, this was going to be the 17th load, probably. No, probably 18th load of the day. And chopper metal alert went off. And usually it falls. But this time there was a big piece of the head in the in the feed rolls, so we're done for a couple minutes. We're gonna go back up Scott Hill because Mom just called Dad and said that she can't move her dump truck on foot lane. So that's never good. It all kind of happened at once and now we're shut down so so we're one more chopper part richer we got rid of that one that one's back on the head but the one we got now goes right there in the center there's two of those uh two of those they call them crispy cream uh, two of those they call them crispy cream uh, but i usually call them a sour well, we're still chopping. That deer was just staring me down. I was wondering if it was going to move. Well, sometimes if I could just have like a camera on me at all times, this, this could be like the wildlife and farming channel. Because you would not believe the amount of wildlife that we stumble across while we're farming. Whether it's just deer, uh, 
lots of times mowing hay, virgin hay, you'll have a lot of hawks and eagles soaring around because you're stirring up all the mice in the field. You got this afternoon sun right now. It's usually pretty cool. Then we also have a wild purple peat in her natural habitat. Hey folks, just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. We're starting to bag and grind the shelled corn that we're doing this year. So that'll be the next video. So stick around. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and eat your dairy products, and have a great day.